Hey guys, uh, this is Wirer and today I'm gonna show you how to install and configure SSH service in your Linux box. And uh, before going any further, I just wanna give you a quick heads up on what is SSH and why it is used for. And SSH is just a protocol that allows you to remotely log in to server from any location from any client machine. And uh, previously we have something called Telnet which does the exact same thing. Uh, but the thing is that telnet is not encrypted and so anyone between uh, from you and your server can actually see what's the actual communication but on the other hand ssh is totally encrypted so that's why they call it as a uh, secure shell i'm sorry for that and uh, it's totally encrypted as i said so if there is anyone sitting in between you and your server and watching the communication all they see is some encrypted data so another thing is that it's gonna run on port number 22 and it's a standard port by default and so before actually installing and configure uh, you just have to make sure that port number 22 is available for the service so let's get uh, into it and uh, this is my linux box and this is kali linux and it's actually running on uh, debian so i'm just gonna log into my linux box and the one thing is that I'm sorry for that background noise, uh, the, uh, my mic is not working so I'm just facing some problems. So just bear with me for 5 more minutes. And now I'm on my, uh, now I'm on my Linux box and this is my terminal. So I'm just gonna quickly install a program called OpenSSH. So don't confuse with SSH and OpenSSH. SSH is a standard protocol like I said and open ssh is a program that actually implements ssh protocol and the good thing is that open ssh it's available on all the linux distributions so you can uh, quickly install it so as i said i'm, I'm on my debian so i'm gonna do a, a sudo apt get sudo i'm sorry sudo apt get install and like i said guys if you are on any other uh, distro like uh, fedora or centos the command is going to be slightly different i'm um, sorry it's open ssh server so as i said um, we are installing server so we are actually installing open ssh hyphen server and uh, for some reason if you want a client in your linux box you can um, just simply type open ssh hyphen client instead of server so this is the way how you install open ssh program it's just normal nothing fancy and the good thing is that i have already installed uh, this program so i'm not going to go and install and i'm not going to waste my time so another thing is that as soon as you install open ssh uh, you just have to make sure whether uh, the program is running or not so you can always do that by typing service and ssh service name and then status so that the status is actually going to give you whether the service is running or not running this is a normal um, a normal command and as you can see it says inactive or dead so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly start my service again service ssh start and the command is same if you want to stop the server as service ssh start and sorry i made a typo again and if you want to restart the server uh, without actually stopping and starting it you can just say service ssh restart so i'm just going to start my server here all right it's going to take a few seconds and it's again i'm i'm, I'm actually sorry guys today i'm totally out of my mind service ssh start all right now my service is started so i'm gonna quickly check that again service ssh status all right as you can see in red oh, sorry green color it says active running so what i can do is i can uh, go to any of my client machine uh, within my network so i'm just gonna open my uh, ssh client and i'm gonna load my kali box here so this is ip address for my linux machine it's 192.168.1.8 and as i said the default it's gonna run on port number 22 
and within a few minutes i'm going to show you how to change the port number and how to change some configuration so as of now stick to port number 22 and i'm going to log in as my normal user yrr and i'm going to enter my password so that's it i just log in to my server from my client machine so this is my directory structure and you can do any stuff you can start a program you can stop a program you can install servers you can so you can install web service application service you can do whatever the fuck you can do whatever in anything you want and so that's how guys and the next step is that i'm going to show you how to how to install sorry how to configure your ssh and as i said by default it's going to load you with some configuration and at any time you can change the configuration so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go back to my Linux machine here, and thanks to virtualization, you can do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna show you a configuration file where you can do all the stuff. So the location is uh, I guess uh, cd slash etc ssh. So I think uh, it's gonna be same for all the distributions. I'm sorry. So I'm going to peek through the service here. So here we have some configuration files and we have some public keys and private keys. And the thing which we want is sshd underscore config file. And uh, before actually making any config, sorry, any changes to this configuration file, always make sure that you have a backup. And I'm going to open my configuration file. And sshd D stands for a uh, daemon all right I for some reasons my virtual box is really really slow and I don't know why if you have any ideas on how to force some things up you can always comment so this is my configuration file guys and um, there are a lot of things going on here so the, the first thing I want to show you is this uh, port number by default as I said it's gonna run on port number 22 and if you want you can always change uh, to any port number so I'm, I'm just going to quickly change to let's say five twos and before actually changing port number you guys have to make sure that uh, this port is open up for service and still there are a lot of things you can change like uh, you can change log level by default it's it's just going to uh, log you with info level and if you want you can change to verbose level just type verbose instead of info here and and as you can see permit uh, root and for some security reasons you, ju you guys have to make sure that you don't you, you are not allowing remote access to root so always disable remote access for root and the next thing is that suppose if you want to disable password authentication you can always uh, choose um, uh, public authentication, TRSA authentication and and still there are a lot of things going on here and uh, frankly speaking I don't know half of it and so this banner suppose if you want to display a message when someone logins to your server uh, messages like hey you are using so and so company server and you can do this you cannot do this and etc message and you can go to issue.net file and you can change um, anything you want and the last thing is that uh, suppose if you have 10 users in your Linux box and if you want to restrict 5 users uh, and if you want to allow only 5 users to enable a remote access uh, you can always use uh, allow users configuration and deny users configuration allow users it's gonna allow only that particular users and deny users is gonna deny that particular users so that's all guys the only thing we did is uh, we just changed the port number from 22 to and uh, three bull two for sorry five two i guess so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to close this configuration file and uh, so before closing i'm just going to save this one and so you know in order to affect these changes uh, you must and should restart the service so i'm just going to restart my service ssh again restart R E S T A R T again that's good all right now my service restarted so i'm just going to go back to my client and then again i'm going to open my ssh client here 
so this is a putty or putty program i don't know what what you call it as long as you know what you are doing and this is kali box i'm just going to load it and as i said if you try to uh, log in now it should uh, it should display some error message the reason because um, we changed port number from 22 to 352 five and if you try to access by port number 22 it's not gonna allow you to log in um, so again as i said i i'm gonna change to five twos i hope it's five twos instead of four twos all right here is my authentication so i'm just gonna log in as yrr and i'm gonna enter my password so here we go so we just change the port number and the next thing is as i said i change i disable root login so when i try to access via root it should not allow me to it's five twos all right so now i'm gonna try to log in via root and i'm gonna enter my correct password so even though i'm entering my correct username and password um, it won't allow me to log in as i said the reason because i disable root login and it is a good thing and it's a good security thing if you if you also do it so thanks for watching guys uh, this is a little introduction to ssh and ssh configuration so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe us and thanks for viewing